Venezuelans took to the streets of Caracas on Saturday, banging empty pots to protest against chronic food shortages. There is hunger Maduro reads one message, only the government is growing fatter reads another. The near daily anti-government protests have now entered their third month. I'm out here for my kids and my grandkids. My kids have left, my grandkids are three years old and I don't want them to suffer anymore because of a lack of medicine and food, diapers and milk. Enough is enough. We're all in the same hole together. To try and cope with the shortage, many Venezuelans cross into neighboring Colombia. Every week, Franklin Becerra's family travels four hours to the border to buy basic necessities like rice, flour and cooking oil. The situation at home is critical. You can't get flour, diapers or anything. You have to try to make your way through barricades and whatever else. There's nothing left there. The people crossing this bridge from Venezuela into Colombia in order to buy food at the market are the lucky ones. Millions of Venezuelans don't have the time or the money to make the trip here and are now eating just one or two meals per day. Seeing people scavenging for food has become a more common sight. A recent survey asked Venezuelans about their nutrition since the start of the economic crisis. It found that 75% of Venezuelans had lost an average of 8.5 kilograms in the past year, and 93% didn't earn enough to cover their basic food needs. In December, the foreign minister said Venezuela would open a humanitarian corridor to allow food and medicine into the country. She then backtracked, saying that allowing food aid would assume there was a humanitarian crisis. <laughs> President Nicolas Maduro has called the crisis a ploy by the U.S. to provoke foreign intervention. But as food lines get longer and hunger rises, President Maduro will continue to lose what little support he has. That means the unrest is likely to continue. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Cúcuta, Colombia.